Howdy, howdy, and hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Creation Corner here on the Creative Plots of the Emerald Idol. As you guys know, I am Husky Tails, your favorite green fluffball, and as always, guys, we are here to show off your amazing creations. Now, if you guys remember, last week's theme was indeed the Chinese New Year, which includes the Zodiacs, Dragons, and other fun ways to celebrate, and you guys were amazing and sent in some truly beautiful artwork, as well as some other fun creations. So, guys, without further ado, we're going to hop right into it. We're going to switch our view. Uh, hello, Kitty. And we're going to switch our view and go ahead and head over here. Where we're going to start with our first entry, guys. And our first entry, as you guys like to know, I like to start with either one of these. This plane or that plane. So today we're going to start with this one, guys. This first one is by... This first one, guys, is by Eleven Choppa, I believe. Yes, Eleven Choppa, who colored this amazing picture, I believe. Um, if it's drawn, you know, let me know. But I, I believe you said you're like you like coloring things, and it looks amazing. And I think, like she said, all of these lanterns here represent someone. I know that in the top right corner, the middle uh, lantern, and this right there, that purple green one. She said that is for me, actually. And I do love the colors. I do love the details and drawings. She said if you did draw, let me know. If you colored it, let me know. I do consider coloring an amazing talent and you are an amazing coloring person so thank you so much for the entry either way I loved it and I can't wait to see what you make next time all right guys next up over here on this side near <laughs> you guys are all hiding behind I'm okay with you guys hiding behind the pictures I might have to make this entire thing glass so you guys can all hide anyways guys the next entry is by it is by Dog Lover 50743. They drew their dragon card. I think it was Snarfle or Snarlf? Snarlf? I, I hope I said it right. I really hope I did. But it's this cute red dragon with a purple tail and yellow horns and hands. It's super adorable and cute. I want to give it a hug, actually. It looks it looks like something I would just make and just hug. Uh, thank you so much for that. It's super amazing. Um, all right, guys. Up next, over here on this side, near Sean and Dexter. <laughs> you guys are all silly. I love this. Um, next up, guys, we have we have Emily Burnham, who made this cool little dragon. It's like all stretchy looking. It looks like it's in the shape of a heart almost. And there's some writing up there. You'll have to let us know what the writing is. I think you might have told me, but I'm not sure because there's two other people that wrote Chinese on their entries, which is amazing. You guys actually went out of your way to make Chinese letters. How awesome is that? Thank you so much for the entry, and I can't wait to see what you make up next time. All right, guys, up next we have, over here, we have, we have Flame Cat Girl with her Ender Dragon picture. It looks like she actually got some fireworks there, like the Chinese fireworks. There's a big, like, fire explosion right there. It looks like the dragon's not too happy, though. I, I, I don't think the Ender Dragon likes celebrating Chinese New Year's too much. We'll have to ask him sometime. Either way, it looks super amazing. I loved it. Thank you so much for your little entry. All right, guys. Up next, over on this side, we have... We have Lightning Tiger, who sent another picture of an Ender Dragon, except for this one's actually in the end. And you can actually see there's, like, some lights going everywhere, and it looks like that's like it looks like you're actually in the end itself, which is pretty cool. I always like the color purple, too, so I'm kind of fond of the end. Uh, thank you so much for submitting that. All right, guys. Up next, we have... Over here... We have Linny the Panda's entry, which is Linny riding a giant purple panda, which is super amazing. I, I it, it, It's funny because it almost reminds me of Venomous in a way. Um, I don't know why. Like I know it's not, but it reminds me of him. It's super, super cool, though. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much, uh, Linny. I love seeing your drawings. I'm getting tongue-tied already. <laughs> All right, guys. Up next, we have... We'll go over here. We have... We have Sean Play, who drew a Zodiac of the mouse, or the rat, I should say. And you guys can actually see his, it's from Sean Play's MC. You guys can see he also did a little Chinese symbol here. I don't know what it is. You can also see on the back it's a little symbols. Well, you had to let us what the no symbols mean. But I loved it. It's super cute and super cuddly. And it's, it's, it's a rat, but I want to hug it again. I want to hug all these creations today. I'm in a hugging mood. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Sean. All right, guys. Up next, over here, we have... We have Tara Sugar Pink, who made this cool, like, it looks like like a, almost like a koi or dragonfish kind of texture design. Like, you'll have to let us know what it is, Tara, but it's definitely cute, definitely awesome. I love, it looks like there's like water almost. You'll have to let us know exactly what it is, but it looks super adorable and cute. Thank you so much for that. All right, guys. Last but not least, oh, no, no, we actually have two more. Sorry, we have this one, which is by... 
We have Trio Badge, who made this cool little- it looks like me in my house next to where a tree in a pond, looking out to see the Chinese fireworks as they explode and just look how amazing that is. That is just brilliant. It's super, super colorful, super bright, and I love the real- like, I love the real life drawings. I really do. Thank you so much for this. Alright guys, I almost forgot we had a late entry, so we'll go over here and we'll, we'll put it on this wall right here. We'll give it a special wall. This one, guys, is by... This is by Kitty... Oh my gosh, I forgot the name. It's uh, Linny's uh, sister, I believe it is. But she made this cool little drawing of... It looks like me and her. And there's like Linny in the background as well. Shooting fireworks, playing with the dra like uh, the old classic Chinese dragons where they have like sticks and stuff on them. There's fireworks. It's bright. It's colorful. I really love it. I'm so glad you were able to get it to me in the time before I started doing this because I love seeing these entries. Thank you so much, Kitty. Alright guys, I believe that was, I want to see if I can actually find, okay it is, Kitty5236815, okay, there you go, I'm pretty sure it's Linny's sister, if I'm wrong, please correct me, but I definitely love the entry, so glad you got it in. So guys, that's our Chinese creation corner theme, as my face is all up in your face, my face, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was funny, um, Anyways, guys, I'm sure I had a, well, I first of all I want to say thank you all for submitting your entries. I know this was kind of a hard theme, and you guys were amazing with it. And that's, guys, I know you guys are wanting to know, what is the next week's theme? Well, I'm here to tell you guys, I want next week's theme to be something a little more fun, and something a little simple that everyone can do. So, and I was thinking about it, and I was like, what should we do that's simple, but fun? And I realized, guys, there is one creature in Minecraft that never gets any love just because of how underappreciated they are. That's why guys, next week's theme is all about bats. That's right, those little squeaky creatures that hide in the cave. I think they're adorable. I wish they could do more in Minecraft. Like I want a pet bat personally, that would be adorable. But guys, your theme is bats. It could be a Minecraft bat. Um, I don't think any of you guys own a real life bat, but if you do, you send a picture of that in. Uh, but it has to be your bat. It has to be your own pet bat. That's a, that's the only exception I will make. Or you guys draw a picture of your own bat. Or, if you guys want, draw yourself in a fun adventure through a cave with lots of bats. So this is where I like getting creative. It just has to have the bat theme, but it can be anything involving the bats. So guys, nonetheless, thank you all for watching. Remember, you guys are amazing. As always, make sure to have an awesome day. And as always, as I keep saying, I've saying that a lot lately today. As always, guys, I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Bye! And away! Wow, I'm not flying. Bye! <laughs>